For the first time in decades, American consumers face new real estate practice changes that will go into effect on August 17th. Now, joining us now is Nate Johnson, the 2024 Vice President of Ad Advocacy, National Association of Realtors, to discuss how these practices will change impact, will changes will impact home buyers and sellers, as well as how agents who are realtors will operate under the new practice changes based on the NAR settlement. Ooh. Welcome to the show, Nate. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Good morning. It's great to be here. Good morning. So what is changing about real estate transactions by August 17th? Well, we've got two major rule changes that are occurring. And one is that offers of compensation, uh, that is the compensation that the buyer's agent would receive, will no longer be displayed on the MLS, which is our local broker marketplace. So those offers of compensation uh, will still occur uh, potentially, but they just will not be available on the MLS. So that is one major change. The other major change is that all buyers will be required to have a written agreement with the agent that they're working with. And, you know, what we believe is that, uh, you know, these things are, are, are going to be in the best interest of everyone. Uh, it provides more transparency for the consumer. Uh, everybody understands what the compensation is and who's going to be paying for that compensation, whether that be the uh, buyer, uh, uh, the buyer or the seller. And so overall, we're uh, excited about the changes as it relates to ensuring that you know, can, real estate continues to evolve in a transparent way uh, in the best interest of all consumers. Now, what should homeowner, home buyers know about the coming practice changes? Well, what they should know is that they have a, there is a requirement for all realtors to have a written agreement with them. So when they engage with a realtor, one of the things that should happen uh, as they're having their initial consultation or discussion is um, an agreement needs to be uh, needs to be signed between the two of them. Uh, so that could be an agreement that is for an extended period of time, could be for a shorter period of time, could be for a specific property. But what that agreement is going to do is outline exactly what the compensation is going to be to that agent that is working with them and also who's paying that uh, and, 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 and sort of clarifying that the buyer is responsible for that. Now, what happens is that um, the buyer's agents are going to make every effort to collect that compensation from the seller or listing agent. Uh, ultimately, it is the buyer's responsibility, however. Now, what about home sellers? Yeah, so with home sellers, um, so home sellers need to understand that the offer of compensation that they've agreed to provide to the buyer's agent will no longer be uh, uh, accessible through the MLS. Uh, so they they are so that's that's an important fact an important factor for them to understand that the way that the compensation is communicated will be different. Other than that you know, it's still important that they leverage the agents that are in their marketplace because, you know, if one de decides to only market to buyers, then they're missing out on the opportunity to connect with the thousands of realtors that are in their marketplace that potentially have buyer clients who could be interested in their property. And so it's important for them to understand that buyers agents are out there, they're needed, and they provide tremendous value to their clients and also to them as sellers because the buyer's agents are going to be the ones that are bringing the buyers to the property. Now, what message do you have for realtors in our area? The message that I have for realtors in St. Louis is to make sure that to continue to provide excellent value for all of your clients. And, you know, excellence is a moving target. And we always have to work hard to ensure that we're doing what's in the best interest of our clients. And we are evolving and adapting to the marketplace. The way we that we do real estate today is different than how we used to do it. I've been a realtor for 25 years in St. Louis, and I'll tell you, it is night and day the way that real estate is practiced today versus 25 years ago. The one thing that is consistent uh, over that period of time is you know, acting in the best interest of the client. Representing the client, providing good counsel and advice to them is always important, and that's never going to change. All right, Nate, now where can someone find more information about the new real estate practice changes? 
Well, more information for the, the real estate practice changes can be found at facts.realtor. Uh, facts.realtor is a, is a, is a, is a, 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 a place for both consumers and realtors to find relevant information about the practice changes and, and the, the impact of the settlement. So that's a phenomenal resource that, that people, can, can, people can turn to. This week with Nate Johnson, 2024 Vice President of Advocacy, National Association of Realtors. He is right here in St. Louis. I can see the St. Louis behind him, the map and the plaque. So Nate, have a good day. You too. Thanks so much. Thank you.